Oh, so the Institute of Fire Engineers is an uh, engineering council registered professional institution for kind of fire and rescue operations and fire science related topics. Um, it allows fire and rescue professionals and civilians, so it's both uniform, to undertake research examinations in a, what is an internationally recognised framework so that it can almost professionalise not only themselves as individual but the organisation that they work for. So it means so much for Cayman Islands Fire Service because it does provide that internationally recognised professional framework. Uh, all 140 staff will have access to a research database and examination syllabuses for the Institute of Fire Engineers. Um, they'll also be able to, you know, those with more senior roles with previous qualifications will be able to register with the Engineering Council. Our fire prevention inspecting officers can gain registration and competency certificates for their work as well. So it really does support the Deputy Governor's vision of a world-class civil service and uh, I think they'll help with the Cayman Islands Fire Service continual improvement journey. Uh, I think Cayman Islands is a Caribbean service. The only other Institute of Fire Engineers branch was Trinidad and Tobago, which I understand struggling. I think through doing the corporate membership, we get access to that global network. There are 42 branches of IFE across the world. And of course, what I really like about it is, is it's there, it's created. The exams take place internationally twice a year and we can introduce that framework from our recruit firefighters through their probation all the way up to the future Chief Fire Officer of Cayman Islands Fire Service. Oh, so it's a really exciting year 2020 for Cayman Islands Fire Service. You know, I'm really looking forward to continue to share my knowledge and experience with uh, my colleagues from the senior management team. But we've got our recruits passing out on the 31st of January, that's 21 recruits and uh, we're looking forward to have a good celebration of their achievement over the past five months training. Uh, we've got new appliances arriving for aviation in, in the middle of the year and later in the year for domestic, which I think is an important step to, uh, to up, update and upgrade our fleet of vehicles. If I add to that that we're doing a risk-based evidence profile of the Cayman Islands and then creating a plan to show how we will manage that risk, uh, as well as providing frontline operational cover 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, I think it really is going to be a busy year and an exciting year for Cayman Islands Fire Service.